In this video, we will discuss about the neurotransmitter in autonomic nervous system. And this is the fourth lecture video of our nervous system series. And in the previous lecture video, I have talked about the differences uh, in between sympathetic and the parasympathetic division and also the functional differences uh, in between them. Okay. So this is the fourth lecture video in which I will be talking about the neurotransmitter in autonomic nervous system. Actually, the neurotransmitter are those chemicals which are secreted from the neurons and then uh, this neurotransmitter activate the another neuron. Actually, the neurotransmitter are the chemicals by which the two neurons talk to it each other. There are present different type of neurotransmitter but in autonomic nervous system the two types of neurotransmitter are important. Uh, the first uh, first type is the acetylcholine and the second type is the norepinephrine. Okay. So in autonomic nervous system two types of neurotransmitter the acetylcholine and the norepinephrine are important. And you know that uh, in sympathetic and the parasympathetic division there are present uh, two neurons in between central nervous system and the effector. The first neuron is the preganglionic neuron and in sympathetic division the preganglionic neuron uh, are small and postganglionic neuron are long and in parasympathetic division the preganglionic neurons are long and postganglionic neurons are small okay but in uh, both sympathetic and the parasympathetic division the preganglionic neuron secret acetylcholine as the neurotransmitter actually the preganglionic neuron uh, in sympathetic division so they are preganglionic neuron and uh, the uh, the preganglionic neuron at sympathetic division secret the acetylcholine and also the preganglionic neuron of parasympathetic division then this is the preganglionic neuron in parasympathetic division they will also secret the acetylcholine okay Next type of neurotransmitter is the acetylcholine and the acetylcholine are secreted from the preganglionic neuron from the preganglionic neuron of sympathetic and the parasympathetic division then uh, acetylcholine are secreted uh, from the preganglionic neuron of sympathetic and parasympathetic division okay sympathetic and parasympathetic division right and also the acetylcholine are secreted from all postganglionic neuron all postganglionic neuron postganglionic neuron of parasympathetic division parasympathetic division okay and the neuron which secret the acetylcholine are called as cholinergic neuron then the neuron which secret acetylcholine are known as the cholinergic neuron they are the cholinergic neuron okay and uh, uh, apart from this the acetylcholine are secreted from all somatic motor neuron the acetylcholine are secreted from all somatic motor neuron okay so neurotransmitter are secreted from the preganglionic neuron of sympathetic and the parasympathetic division and also all the postganglionic neuron of parasympathetic division also secret the acetylcholine and apart from this the few few sympathetic postganglionic neuron secret acetylcholine okay but most of the postganglionic neuron of sympathetic division secret the norepinephrine as the neurotransmitter and the neurons which secret the norepinephrine as the neurotransmitter are called as uh, are called as cholinergic neuron okay now the norepinephrine the norepinephrine are secreted from the postganglionic neuron from the postganglionic neuron of sympathetic division right and the most of the postganglionic neuron of sympathetic division actually secret the norepinephrine the neuron which secret norepinephrine are known as adrenergic neuron adrenergic neuron okay now neurotransmitter binds with a specific type of receptor and acetylcholine binds with the cholinergic receptor then the acetylcholine binds with cholinergic receptor cholinergic receptor okay and norepinephrine norepinephrine binds with binds with adrenergic receptor norepinephrine binds with adrenergic receptor okay diagram you can see the different type of receptor for acetylcholine and these are called as the cholinergic receptor and the acetylcholine usually binds with the postganglionic neuron through the nicotinic receptor 
then the cholinergic receptor which is present in autonomic nervous system are two types and they may be nicotinic receptor then the nicotinic receptor are present in the post ganglionic neuron of sympathetic division then all of the post ganglionic ne neuron you can see that all of the post ganglionic neuron uh, contains the nicotinic receptor and into which the acetylcholine binds with it okay and then uh, the neurotransmitter uh, actually binds with the specific type of receptor and in cases of uh, cholinergic receptor there are present two type of receptor the these are the receptor actually this is the diagram of the receptor and the receptor are two type in case of uh, in case of acetylcholine the nicotinic receptor the first type is the nicotinic receptor and second type of type of receptor are mascarinic receptor okay then the second type of receptor is mascarinic receptor mascarinic receptor then the acetylcholine binds with the two types of receptor the nicotinic receptor this is these are the acetylcholine the, then the acetylcholine binds with the nicotinic receptor and acetylcholine may also binds with the mascarinic receptor okay now the uh, the uh, new nicotinic receptor are usually present in the post ganglionic neuron of both sympathetic and the parasympathetic division but the mascarinic receptor into which the acetylcholine binds are present in the effector cell of the parasympathetic division and also the few effector cells of sympathetic division then these are the mascarinic receptor and acetylcholine binds with this mascarinic receptor and in this diagram you clearly uh, see that the mascarinic receptor are present in the uh, in few effector cells of sympathetic division and uh, and all of the effector cells of parasympathetic division and in this mascarinic receptor acetylcholine binds acetylcholine binds with the two types of receptor and uh, uh, the nicotinic receptor and the mascarinic receptor okay and these receptors are named for the drugs that binds to them and mimic the acetylcholine effect okay and in cases of nicotinic receptor the nicotinic receptor derived their name from the fact that they were first discovered uh, discovered when in nicotine a drug was shown to bind them okay then uh, the nicotine nicotine a, a drug a drug binds with nicotinic receptor binds with nicotinic receptor okay nicotinic receptor and for this reason this type of acetylcholine receptor or the cholinergic receptor are called as nicotinic receptor and this drug actually mimic the function of acetylcholine okay and the muscarinic receptor a mushroom poison a mushroom poison a mushroom poison a mushroom poison which is known as muscarine which is known as muscarine muscarine and this is a type of toxin and activate this different set of acetylcholine receptor actually activate this receptor and this also this muscarine also mimic the function of acetylcholine and so in both autonomic system the acetylcholine uh, binds with the nicotinic receptor in post ganglionic cell then you can see that this acetylcholine binds with the receptor nicotinic receptor in the post ganglionic cell and the few sympathetic post ganglionic cell and all parasympathetic pole post ganglionic cells are also the cholinergic receptor and acetylcholine binds with the muscarinic receptor in the effector of parasympathetic division the effect of the uh, of the acetylcholine binding to the mascarine receptor uh, is either inhibitory or the excitatory okay then the acetylcholine binds with the mascarinic receptor binds with effector cell of mascarinic receptor effector cell of mascarinic receptor and their function may be either inhibitory inhibitory function okay or their function may be excitatory or their function may be excitatory right now and the inhibitory function seen in case of cardiac muscle receptor okay 
the inhibitory function and when the acetylcholine binds with the muscarinic receptor in cardiac muscle cell this show the inhibitory effect cardiac muscle cell then this show the inhibitory effect and in this cases the heart rate becomes slowed slows down then the heart rate actually slows down and the excitatory function of acetylcholine when binds with the muscarinic receptor are seen in smooth muscles of the gi tract okay so this is seen in smooth muscles smooth muscles in gi tract smooth muscles in gi tract and this increases the motility of the of the of the gi tract right then uh, this is all about our uh, cholinergic receptor adrenergic receptor then the adrenergic receptor are uh, usually present in the most of the effector cells of sympathetic division okay and most of the post ganglionic neuron of the sympathetic division release norepinephrine as the neurotransmitter and this norepinephrine binds with this adrenergic receptor or this norepinephrine neurotransmitter binds with the effector cells of this sympathetic division okay now this ad adrenergic receptor may be of different type okay the adrenergic receptor usually are two types the alpha receptor and the beta receptor okay and i have already told you that the actions of the neurotransmitter actually depends upon the type of neurotransmit uh, the type of receptor in which they bind that is when the uh, norepinephrine binds with the alpha receptor they uh, of the of the smooth muscle they show the specific function and when the norepinephrine binds with the beta receptor of the smooth muscle they can show the different function okay then the action of a particular type of neurotransmitter uh, will be dependent upon the type of receptor into which they binds okay and here you can see the smooth muscles and these are the smooth muscle receptor and when the norepinephrine binds with the alpha receptor this causes the stimulating effect okay then this causes the stimulating effect and when norepinephrine binds with the alpha adrenergic receptor and this causes the stimulating effect in smooth muscle in smooth muscle and for this reason the smooth muscles will be contracted right then when the norepinephrine binds with this alpha receptor this actually stimulate the smooth muscles and this causes the contraction of the smooth muscles but when the norepinephrine binds with the beta receptor beta adrenergic receptor of the smooth muscle this inhibit inhibit the muscle function then this inhibit the smooth muscles function okay inhibit smooth muscle function and in this case smooth muscles will be dilate and in this case the smooth muscles will be dilated and when the norepinephrine binds with the beta receptor binds with the beta receptor of the cardiac muscle this shows the stimulating effect okay so this will show the stimulating effect and in this case the heart rate will be faster and stronger okay then the heart beat or heart rate will be increased or heart rate will be increased and the heart beat will be faster and stronger then you can see that when the when the norepinephrine binds with the beta receptor of the smooth muscles this shows the inhibitory inhibitory effect but when this binds with the beta receptor of the cardiac muscle cells this shows the uh, excitatory effect or that this shows the stimulatory effect okay now let uh, let me summarize the total process actually the neurotransmitter are those types of chemicals which are synthesized in the neurons and these are released from the neuron and there are presence different type of neurotransmitter but in cases of autonomic nervous system or in case of sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system the two types of neurotransmitter are released the acetylcholine and the norepinephrine okay and the neuron which secret the acetylcholine are called as cholinergic neuron and the neurons which secret a norepinephrine are called as adrenergic neuron okay 
and and uh, uh, and here you can see that the both of the preganglionic neuron of sympathetic and the parasympathetic division release the acetylcholine as the neurotransmitter show this preganglionic neuron of sympathetic and the parasympathetic division must be cholinergic and in this cases the acetylcholine binds with the nicotinic receptor of the postganglionic neuron in both sympathetic and the parasympathetic division okay and now the uh, few few of the post ganglionic neuron in sympathetic division also release the acetylcholine acetylcholine as the neurotransmitter but this acetylcholine binds with the effector cell which contain a different type of uh, different type of acetylcholine receptor and this receptor is known as muscarinic receptor then the acetylcholine which binds with the post ganglionic neuron uh, neuron uh, the receptor is the nicotinic receptor okay so in the post ganglionic neuron there will be presence nicotinic receptor for acetylcholine but in cases of sympathetic division the effector cell contain the muscarinic receptor and also all of the effector cells of parasympathetic division also contain the muscarinic receptor for acetylcholine but most of the most of the post ganglionic neuron in sympathetic division secrete the norepinephrine as the neurotransmitter and this neurotransmitter binds with the adrenergic receptor of the effector cell and there are presents two different type of adrenergic receptor the alpha receptor and beta receptor and also the function of the neurotransmitter not only dependent upon the upon their types and also their function will be dependent upon the upon the types of receptor into which they binds and also the type of receptor where these receptor are present okay then the when the norepinephrine binds with the alpha receptor of the smooth muscles alpha adrenergic receptor of the smooth muscles this shows the stimulating effect and when this binds with the beta receptor of the smooth muscle cells this shows the inhibitory function but when the norepinephrine uh, or the this neurotransmitter binds with the beta receptor of the heart muscle cells then this shows the increased of the heart rate okay you have totally understand about the different type of receptors and the different type of neurotransmitter in autonomic nervous system and also their functional differences and in the next tutorial video we will be talking about the release of epinephrine and the non-epinephrine which is controlled by our central nervous system so thank you and that's it